Hello everyone, back again with Crusader in Pouring City. So, those who are wondering why I create Crusader now in Pouring City, it's because of the item I need to hunt. Being Crusader has very good skill buffs such as Defender, Reflect Shield, and some very good offensive skill. In this video, I will be focusing on both playstyle with Grand Cross and Soul Linked Shield Boomerang. Getting started in Pouring City, you might need to do Eden Quest from start. If you are feeling Eden Quest a little bit dragging, you also can go on doing repeatable quest across the field. Two type of repeatable quest you can choose to do, either item gather and monster hunt. Some of quest from monster hunt, drop the item needed to turn in for experience at item gather. So, be sure to check them out. This video is brought to you by LD Cloud. LD Cloud allows you to run multiple game accounts simultaneously, which is ideal for gamers who want to manage their accounts efficiently. AFK automation allows players to automate gameplay in the background, saving time and effort. Try it now. Link in description below. The footage you seen is the one device managing multiple game at once. So, for the player that playing AFK type game and has many account for example Ragnarok Online Generation, Ragnarok Origins and Ragnarok Eternal Love, this platform is for you to use. Easily to set up and connect the system, you can choose to play from browser, Windows application or Play Store application. They also provide multiple server, which is can be selected depend on the country you at for smoother experience. For me personally, the best place to boost the level faster is from the repeatable quest. Hunting 150 monster and gathering the item for turn into experience as reward. I will doing the repeatable quest from here until I have become crusader. Please take note, battle manual. Equipment that increasing experience will have impact on your experience point. For costume experience, you can get it from Jeff and Magic Tournament pouring CT egg scroll T1 and T2. Ensure to do Jeff and Magic Tournament instances to get the coin. Experience gain from repeatable quest is very large and helpful for me to get into Crusader pretty fast soon. From Jalnir Field into Marasi Field is my playground. Caramel, Coco, Frildora and Hode all died easily. As Holy Knight, Crusader also swore an oath that do no harm to living things except monster. After I've done at Njalnir Field, straight away I go to Morok Field. That place is my turning point into Crusader. I don't need max job 50 to become Crusader. But it's very good for me if I can get my job to max 50. At least I have extra skill point for my build later on. With activity coin, I can claim 100% battle manual from NPC at the middle of PRON Terra Town. Each battle manual only cost me 10 activity coin. Since activity coin are pretty easy to get with 5% drop rate from all monsters. Also, you can get activity coin from doing orc memory instances. When I have finished doing Morok quest, I went to Komodo field. This time for an alien skin item submit. This is one of the best experience item gathering in the game. The quest only required 20 piece of an alien skin and it will give very massive experience for both base and job level. Since I have a lot of skins, no problem for me get level faster. Welcome, Crusader has arrived. I went to Iothea field to push more on job level. Finally, I can mention the build I'm going to make. The build for this early I will be focusing on shield boomerang. With Crusader spirit buff from Soul Linker, making their shield boomerang never miss, do double the damage, and having its after cast delay. This is pretty awesome buff to have. And if added with Tom Ruin card or using Cross Shield, the damage will be improved even more. Before any of that, I need to get my job level at least level 40. The best way I can do is doing an Alien Skins item gathering. This is the easiest way to do so. Since I don't need to go hunting anymore, I just sit and click. And now I present to you, Soul Linked Crusader Shield Boomerang. 
If you play server without soul linker then this build might not fit your play style but still can follow the usage some of them just you will be lacking some damage. Nefence at Manic Field 02, is a long range attacker monster. Good for level 74 until 80. With skill defender, you completely can reduce the damage done to yourself by long range attack. Cards such as Horn Card, Noxious Card, or Alligator Card will help you further reduce the damage. Besides Nefence, Medusa is also a good choice to level up. But certainly, you need some items to reduce damage taken from Medusa. Since you are not dealing with long range attackers anymore, cards play a big part in reducing or increasing damage done to monsters. Pillageberg card can reduce damage by 30% from the Demon Race monster. Tatako and Raedric will reduce from neutral attack. If I want to hunt in Medusa until level 99, I need the proper build to ensure my survivability here. In this video not my main focus to hunting Medusa. When I went to Bio Labs, most of the first class monsters like Archers, Swordsman, and others. I have no issue beating them except the Magician. Crusaders can tank most of the physical damage but when comes to magical attacks, they are weak against them. Since I'm not building a magic tank, with the quadruple hydra card I'm using, the damage done to them is very high, combination also with cross shield giving me another extra 30% damage increase. Once I change into paladin, might try with bradium shield since it will increase the damage another 60% compared to cross shield only 30%. But of course need to take into the account that, heavy shield, refine on the shield will take part on increasing the damage. Now to push my level up to 90. This time I will change my skill set playing Grand Cross. I have in hand now a Solar Sword and Ride Word Hat. Can help me gain the, the HP back while damaging the monster with the Grand Cross. I know it's not a lot of healing but still, it's very useful right now. My main target is Anubis. One of the highest experienced monsters in the game and not in the boss class. At level 81, it's kinda hard for the first time, especially mobbing multiples of Anubis. 1 vs 1 it's a good choice and option for me. And yes, I also can use Holy Cross if I go with 1 vs 1 but we're fun on that yeah but it seems the Grand Cross with Solar Sword and Ride Word Hat gives me benefits of extra HP gain. Even though it is low but still very helpful for me to get those extra HP. Now the final part is ready. Thor Volcano, Hunting Bow Guardian. I'm ready and let's do the equipment review. Beret on top, for armor I'm using a Bathory card which is nothing extra added to my defense or damage. Quadruple Hydra cards, cross shield carded with their a frog card, and finally, Raedric card on the garment. Soul Link buffs my shield boomerang. Supportive skills like Defender and Auto Guard really helped me go past Bow Guardian. One Bow Guardian gave massive experience even without the battle manual. The hard part is to find the Bow Guardian that wandering alone inside Thor Volcano. Also, my aim here is to get two Orleans gloves. That of course for my Shadow Chaser build later on. But in between to get into level 99, I also started to do Eden Board Quest for levels 91 to 99. This is a little getaway from hunting Bow Guardians alone. Eden Board Quest helpful to get me into the desired level I need to be. Since the new addition of Dark Priest into the game, this makes it easier to get into levels 97 and 98. Then I can start going back into Thor Volcano hunting Bow Guardians while waiting for the 3 hours cooldown to finish. The Dark Priest possesses hard challenges for me. It's strong, has very high HP but very good experience too. After completing all the quest, it took my up to level 96 with battle manual turn on. Then I noticed that I missed to take Ribio quest. So, I had to go back into Glastheim and complete the quest. Finally, 
I went back into the Thor Volcano to finish what I've started before. Gain level 99 here and get at least one Orleans Glove. 0.25% drop rate for the glove after hours and hours in there, the glove decided to drop and bonus with sniping suit. It's pretty good hunting in there. There you go, that is my story and journey for Crusader in Pouring City playing as Shield Boomerang. Be sure to check my next video update on Shadow Chaser and I will rebirth my Crusader and then go into Royal Guard 2. Until next time guys. See ya. Any recommendations for my Paladin build let me know. I thinking about Shide Chain build here.